So I have a lot of unfinished projects around and this happens to be one of them. It's a carport that we bought three or four years ago and by the time they got here to deliver it and set it up our plans had changed and we uh, didn't want to put it up where we had originally intended and we didn't know where we wanted to go with it so we just had them unload it and here the last I guess last fall I started putting it up up here where we're staying at this mobile home and I've got the main structure up the framework and all got the roof on and started in closing the back and I stopped because I wanted to leave the an air break there somewhere where the, it wouldn't just catch air and, and blow the thing apart so we left the top pieces off for now I've got a door a roll-up door that goes in there and today I'm trying to figure that out I've got a lot of pieces and um, I just might figure out where they go but I have good help Dobby's here helping me and maybe we'll get it figured out and at least get the door up today I don't know it might be a while before I get back on it and start putting sheet metal up but this is kind of the next uh, stop here on this is getting the door installed so I know where to put the rest of the metal and how to cut it so that's what I'm working on this rainy day So I've been watching this little guy throughout the day. Little bitty caterpillar of some kind. I'm not sure what he is. He started out right down here on the ground when I was working right here earlier. And he made it up that pole and off and on across. And I kind of watched out for him. I thought about relocating him, but I didn't know where to send him to so he's just doing his own thing but he's up there now so there's another one over there two of them maybe they're trying to meet up I don't know you can see that one on the edge of the beam there or not anyway Dobby don't like the thunder what's up Dob? You think? Not happy about that, are you? So 
but it kind of storm a time or two and I put my camera away because I was didn't want it to get soaked and the wind was blowing I didn't really didn't just want it out here to get tore up some way uh, but anyhow I looks like it's clearing off we still have a little wind but um, while the camera was off I did get these mounted um, the track for the door um, pretty simple setup just an angle iron bracket there that the door sets on up here and we'll have some u-bolts that drop through it and the other one's set up over there i'm going to try right now to get that door rolled up enough and get it carried up here and set in these tracks i don't know if i can do it by myself or not but I'm going to give it a try. to wrestle that up there after a little trial and error. Uh, so far, I just have it bolted up there, kind of sitting there, the spring's not loaded on it to pull it back up. It was out of kelter and kind of crooked in there, so I just let it go on down there to straighten it up. And I've got them brackets in here. This side has this bracket right here. Um, that that cradle's at. I'm gonna have to come up with something because unless I can dig around here and find the piece for this side because I don't have it. This thing has laid around here and been moved three times so 
I uh, don't know where every piece is, so I'm kind of at a loss on that, but I'll either find that piece in this little area back here, or I'll make something or find something I can put in there. I don't know what that'll be yet, but as soon as I do, this is spring loaded, so um, I will pull this door all the way up and get it shut down where I want it, braced against this. This is a break, I think, to keep it from continuing to unwind. I think that's probably what that is. When it opens up, it'll press, press, come out and press against that. So I'll have to adjust that. When I get that figured out and adjusted, then I'll have this piece in there and then put some little more pressure on this, get a hold of it with something and spin it backwards a few times and get some pressure on that spring to where it'll pull, help pull it up and also hold it there when it's up and then it'll pull down and you have to latch it down but that's where I got to today uh, as always if I'd have been a little better prepared and planning in advance when we bought it uh, would have made today a whole lot easier but kind of the way we operate just muddling through this stuff so uh, we did manage to get it up. Now I can go ahead and put some metal up in through here and on around. I can fill my gaps up and get that area sealed off and uh, put the grandkids go-kart in there. Put a lawnmower in there when it's not on the trailer. Um, and maybe I might pour some concrete in there a little at a time with by the bag mix. I don't know. Let's see how much time I have. Right now I'm just gonna try to get it sealed up and trimmed up and dried out and to where we can do a little better. Right now we've got a bunch of scrap lumber in there that needs to kind of be picked through a little bit. We're gonna use some of it still around here on this place. But So that's where I'm at today with this. Hopefully go a little more. Uh, maybe this weekend if it's kind of rainy out, it talks like it's gonna not be the greatest weather again so that's the plan so thanks for coming along this time